What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Project, coming to you live right now on this upcoming six game NBA slate for tomorrow. Before we can hit that like button for me, definitely subscribe. We are here breaking down this slate. Um, it is Thursday, so I'm excited about it. And I'm off this weekend, so uh, we'll have videos for that. I kind of knocked out last night, and I didn't get the video out, but we are here today. Um, so we have a nice six gamer. Uh, I'll have my Yahoo uh, DFS article up on Fantasy Six Pack for y'all to check out. So let's go and hop right into it with the Knicks at Boston. On the Knicks side, Julius Randle, 9-9. Well, not really much I'm looking at on this Knicks team. The main two guys I'll look at is Jericho Sims at 4,000. He's seeing good minutes now without um, Robertson or Robinson and then Hardstein off the bench. I mean, I don't mind him as a flyer. If he, he's a point from any type of guy. Um, the rest of the team, I'm not really like looking at Barrett. I'm not looking at Brunson. Quickly, he's just meh. Quentin Grimes is just all over the place. Cam Reddish is probably going to be traded. Um, I'm just looking at the bigs. On the Boston side, no Malcolm Smart. So Malcolm Brogdon and Derek White look good at 5'9 of 6,000. Uh, Jalen Brown, I prefer him over J- Jason Tatum, like usual, based on the price tags. Um, but you can go to either guy. I'm much like I said, much rather go to Jalen Brown if I had to pick. Um, and then the bigs, Al Horford and Robert Williams, which just kind of had to play to me. I'm not really looking at either one. Um, on the Chicago and Charlotte side, on the Chicago side, uh, nothing really stands out to me. The price tags are kind of high for Levine, Booch, and DeRozan. Patrick Williams is a steal sort of guy. I mean, he's been in, he's been getting the rack of steals every single game. One steal, one steal, two steals. Um, I don't mind him in the mid range. And then I'm not really looking at Caruso, White, or Io. They're all kind of splitting minutes on the Charlotte side. This is where we get value. Lamar Ball and Gordon Hayward are both questionable. I don't imagine Lamar Ball playing, so I'm going to go to Terry Rozier eight one again. Um. I don't mind going to Dennis Smith as a player at 4-5. Um, Plumlee has looked good at 6-8. I don't mind him. I'm not really looking at McDaniels or Washington, though. It's mainly just Terry Rozier and Plumlee. Detroit and Brooklyn on the Detroit side, nothing really stands out to me. Isaiah Stewart's questionable. He, if he's out, I'm going to look to Jalen Dern a little bit more. At 5-1, Sadiq Bay is out of play. Killing Hayes is out of play. Jaden Ivey, not really looking at Bog. I know is a, in a good matchup. I don't mind that. But to also talk, kind of talk about Jalen Dern's in a great matchup on the Brooklyn against Brooklyn. On the Brooklyn side, it's Kyrie Irving for me at 10-3. I love his price tag. Uh, ben Simmons looks okay at 6-7. I'm not really getting to much else on this team. Claxton looks okay at 7-6. Um, i just kind of rather find value elsewhere. On the Cleveland side, Donovan Mitchell is questionable. Um, if he's out, I'm going to look at Darius Collin once again at 8-6. He's going to be a great option along with Karis Albert at 5-6. Uh, Jared Allen, I don't mind him at 6-5. I'm not sure I go to him than Mobley. And then Kevin Love as a flyer at 3-4. You can always look at him. Um, if he's going to get the minutes, he's going to produce. Kind of like Hardstein. And then on the Houston side, no KPJ, so Jalen Green looks good at 7-8. As long as he hit his shot. <laughs> if he can hit his shot, he's going to be a great option. Um, if he doesn't, then they're going to get 10 fantasy points. So be careful. Uh, Sing in 8-7. It's just minutes for me. He needs to get those minutes. Um, But I like him at 8-7, but it is it is a tough price tag. Uh, Jamari Smith, 5-2, not really looking at. Eric Gordon, it's okay at 4-5. Tari Eason, is, if he's going to get the minutes, I like him. Um, Dallas and Phoenix on the Dallas side, Christian Wood's questionable. Um, pretty much just Luca for me. I'm bust. Uh, it's kind of how I always talk about the Dallas team on the Phoenix side. No damn Booker, Aiden should be playing. Uh, so Chris Paul looks okay at 7 7. This is going to be a slow paced matchup. Cam Johnson at 5 3 is meh. Michael Bridges is okay at 7 3. I don't mind Aiden if he does play. That's going to kind of take away Sarge. And last game of Spurs at Clippers and the Spurs side, it's Trey Jones and Kellen Johnson for me. Um, so Cam looks okay at 4 8 as a value. And then on the Clippers, kind of revenge narrative for quiet eight ten thousand. Um, I'm going to tell you to go to Paul George eight five. Zubak looks okay in this matchup at five seven, but we don't have a ton of value. That we are kind of waiting on it though. On the on the uh, Charlotte side, on the Houston side, we have some value. We have some value on the Detroit side, so I have some value on the Phoenix side. Um, it's just all about kind of mixing and matching that. But that wraps up the sick presses though. Thank you for tuning in. It was a great set for us tonight. Have a good one, everybody.